Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the post fight video for Deontay Wilder versus Joe Washington. We did a, a Google Hangout for this, so it was, it was rather entertaining as far as the Hangout goes. But I just want to get my thoughts on this fight. Uh, now that it's over, I kind of was going off during the fights. So I want to give my thoughts more while I'm a lot more calm. You know, this fight was a one that I thought after the Warzik fight happened, I thought uh, logistic it, it made a lot of sense. Um, being that Joe Washington was a top 15 ranked opponent, being that um, he was an undefeated fighter, you know, no matter how you see the Amir Mansoor fight, still an undefeated fighter. And it was an interesting fight because, you know, Wilder has never really fought anybody with the exception of maybe Kelvin Price. I think Kelvin Price is pretty tall, I'm not sure though. Uh, he's never fought anybody as big as him, and, and, and Washington was a big boy, 6'6. Six, six. So you saw in this fight, the, the first couple rounds, you know. Washington's very slow footed, so he wasn't trying to get into a battle of speed because he clearly loses against Wilder. But he was he was very methodical in those early rounds. Uh, was very committed to his jab. And he had a lot of success with it early on, especially in the third round. He really th was throwing it with a lot of confidence, and it was hitting and hurting Wilder. Not not honestly hurting, but it was, it was hitting him, and he was he was winning those rounds. I, I had him up personally. I had him up four nothing going into the fifth round. But I could see you know a car with maybe three one. If you really want to be generous, two two. But three one four zero is probably what be. What, what, what I had it, if I had it 4-0, but 3-1 would, would be cool either because you can make the argument that Wilder might have won one of those first two rounds. But uh, in the fifth round, and I, and I said this on the live stream, I, I was like, well, Washington's having success, Washington's having success but when, when this distance closes up, when, when, when Wild, if Wilder's able to close this distance, then he's going to need to basically um, you know, be careful because this... The same thing happened with Spilka. Spilka was having success. Not as much success with the jab as uh, with Washington had, but he had success. And later on in the fight, Wilder landed a vicious uh, straight right hand and, and, and pretty much knocked Spilka out unconscious. And the same thing happened here. Uh, the, the distance closed, and, and Wilder landed a couple nice uh, short punches. And before you knew it, Gerald Washington had no legs. He was on the canvas. And... Um, you know, it was. A, I, I thought it was a PBC stoppage, but I don't want to take it away from Wilder. I think the burden is on Gerald Washington because he had he was beating Wilder. He was having success, and he didn't capitalize it. He never once really took the fight to Wilder and hurt him with anything. And you, to beat to to beat Wilder tonight, you were gonna have to hurt him and, and get his respect. And I don't think he really did um, the best job of that. And a lot of that you could uh, lend to lack of experience, which he, did, which he didn't have. But credit to him for taking the fight. He gave a game effort, but at the end, end of the day, it was just it, he was just outgunned. He was, you know, someone who was inexperienced and, and couldn't capitalize on the success he had, and that that's what it was. So, you know, I, even though I don't, I, I, I think that fight to me it, it further lends credence to my my uh, opinion that I don't think Wilder can beat any one of the top heavyweights. Um, to have a guy slow like Gerald Washington have that much success against you, and I know I wanted this fight, but I still had the expectation of Wilder going in there and, and, and being rather dominant, and he got a stoppage. So what do you want, BT? But I'm saying he he wasn't he, he there was just too many lulls for Wilder for me. Like I think uh, he wasn't committed enough to his own jab. He didn't impose himself enough. And I think when you're the WBC heavyweight champion, someone that we look at as a top class, someone that a lot of people look up look at as a top class fighter. Many don't, but some do. And you have almost 40 professional fights under your belt, and you're fighting a guy with that le level of experience, that level of skill. You should be imposing your will, and that's that. That was my only really concern, my, my only really criticism, one of my, one of my criticisms of Wilder. But he gets credit for the win. He gets full credit for the win because look, I, I I can't I can't hate on the win. He I said that he should fight Gerald Washington. He took the fight, and he went in there and he, and he stopped him. So who am I to who, who am I to sit here? I hate the guy and say, well, he, he, Joe Washington's a nobody and he, and he sucks and Wilder sucks. You know, I don't think Wilder is the best heavyweight or nothing like that, but he gets credit for the win. Um, I think to this point, it's probably one of the better wins he's had in a while because Ariel fight was a joke. Um, Molina fight was whatever. Um, best best win since Spilka for sure. I, I mean, I, I, definitely. I, I I think you might you might even be able to put this this one over Spilka because he actually had to deal with a little bit of adversity and a guy that was taller different stylistic look for him so as far as Wilder next he needs to really just step up and fight someone uh, notable like, like, like better than Joe Washington you know step up a little more so I'm looking for his next fight you know Joseph Parker was something that I was talked about that's a good fight for him Jarrell Miller is the one that I would like to see um, but that's probably not gonna happen doesn't make a lot of sense right now for Wilder 
Um, you know, maybe the winner of Klitschko Joshua. That'd be a massive fight. Uh, I think from here on out, we we should be demanding top guy, top level heavyweights, the top of the top. You know, top five heavyweights. You know, for Wilder. So no excuse from here on out. He gets full credit for the win. He did what he had to do tonight. He he got a, a, a great stop at Joanna. Look, even for someone like me who doesn't like Wilder at all, I think he's very overrated. And you know. Even if someone like me doesn't like him, you gotta admit that the guy does have an eraser. Like you can be up in the cards as much as you want, but he has that eraser in his right hand, and um, you gotta be a smart fighter to deal with that for 12 rounds. So uh, credit to you know Joe Weston. He came in game, but it just wasn't enough tonight. And uh, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think about this performance from Wilder. What do you rank it as far as best ones of his career? Uh, do you think this was Wilder getting exposed? Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from doing it. So until next time, take care guys.